There we are, Hello. live once again. Yes. Hello to all. Monster Hunter Monday. We're still adjusting our seats. Yes, I shouldn't be this short. Yes, there you, you should be taller, Greg. Ah, there you go, even taller. Very good. So, fantastic. Another week is up on us, uh, full of possibility <laughs> and potential. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Do you see that? Uh, Man, we want to hit enter. I want to. Oh yeah. So our room number is going in the chat. Room number in the chat. I was uh, saving a spot for someone, but uh, at this point... Scrum! Uh, no, uh, I like it. Nice you know, guy from you have Australia. Lovely... Oh, cool. I had to wake up at like 8.30 in the morning to, to try to be on the screen. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Anyways. My brother lives there. Uh, you have lovely armor on. I want A new armor, man. Look at what that. Is, what are we looking at here? This is the We're coolest looking at armor the Dire Morales seen. armor. Dire Morales. It looks yeah. like a mech. So this is to make up for the fact that I missed on last week. Uh, because I was traveling. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make new armor so that by the time we're online, I can, these guys can enjoy something cool. Uh, do, we, do we know oh how, what we're doing gosh. with this, by the way? Huh? Do we know what we're doing with this? We're giving it away. Yes. Yeah, what so is this? What, what are you holding? This right here. This is Monster Hunter Illustrations Dose. Yeah. To use the nomenclature of the series. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful collection of yeah. art. From the Monster Hunter games, Whoops. including uh, Bracky armor I'm seeing here. Is that Bracky armor in the cover, yeah, and then Laggy uh, and Nagakuga, and then yeah. I guess the, the first illustrations Kuga. book only goes through what Portable or uh, Freedom Unite or Try uh, Freedom Unite, I think. Hang on. So the first first one goes up to Freedom to Freedom Unite. Mm -hmm. Where's the wave? There you go. And, and this one, I guess, so takes so you yeah. to three ultimate. So uh, first book goes from Monster Hunter One. Two, freedom, freedom one, uh, fr freedom one, freedom two, and a little bit of freedom unite. This one actually has some art from freedom unite mm -hmm. that was left out oh nice. for some reason. So, uh, so you get the complete uh, thingy there. Yes. And then does try portable third, and then three ultimate as well. And you know, because Monster Hunter is such an amazing brand, like all these art books are great, but because this is such a big and an important series uh, in Japan. They have so many amazing artists working on the game, and I know. Uh, so these these books are great. Like even if you don't win this giveaway, like it's worth considering getting these books because yeah. get a new mortgage on the house so you can afford. Do it. that. <laughs> I, f I I need to change this color. So which color should I go with? Uh, chat. You have to pick a well number. I don't. From, you should make it look like from a one bracky. to twelve. From 1 to 12, the first number I see is the number I'll pick. 2. No. On the chat. Uh. Purple. Purple's not a number. Good point. Uh, 5. 5. Okay. 5 wins. 5 was actually brown. Oh. Brown? Some sort of brown. Hmm. It's not great. Earth tones. They... Yeah, not great. Whoever picked five, you're out. <laughs> like, get out. <laughs> Just so kidding, guys. Stay, stay for the giveaway. Yeah, please. And and tell your friends. Speaking of tell your friends, guys, I wrote <laughs> I wrote a long, long blog over the weekend. Uh, instead of relaxing, and uh, <laughs> it's about Monster Hunter. So I'm gonna put a link in the chat, and you might enjoy it because it's about how Monster Hunter. If you think about it, it's a lot like Street Fighter. You know, I say that to people, even people who work here, and they look at me like a crazy person. But if I'm crazy, then it's the rest of the world that's sane, or something like that. Sort of. Yeah. But go on. Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, people who are interested in uh, like game design and game mechanics and stuff like that, uh, Oops. If they've played both Monster Hunter and Street Fighter, they may see it on their own, you know? Mm. Um, I think uh, some of the comparisons are more that are more common don't really do this game justice. Um, yeah, if, if you're going to compare on the surface level, it's yeah. not, it's not, you're not doing it right. Uh, thanks to those who already read it. I, I appreciate that. There's a, Yeah, there's been an ongoing discussion. Man, some commenters in the Oops. chat are saying they enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, discussion now up to like 17 comments or something like that, you know? Yeah, it's uh, which is <laughs> a lot lately <laughs> compared to 
Yeah. Gold and silver, yes. But you know, like the, I think the underlying point is that I mean, for me anyway, that's the kind of thing that makes me love Capcom and why I think it's a valid thing to be a Capcom fan as mm. opposed to being a fan of specific games they make because like we make they make um, because there are these overarching philosophies that you know influence all or most of the games that we put out mm -hmm. you know and I would argue even some of the games that we've outsourced to Western developers they still kind of have a little bit of that something either because they looked up to Capcom for years or because Capcom had some creative input. Yeah, think um, about that uh, that interview, not interview, but a, like more like a dev um, video, like a long dev diary mm -hmm. um, for Strider. Yeah. And they're all saying how they're all like super Strider fans and that's how, you know, yeah. that's how the, the game turned out to be so faithful to Strider. Is yep. They really loved it. And even like Bionic Commando, you know? Yeah, like the Bionic the, the Commando did the a fantastic job. Obviously, the rearmed was very faithful, but even the 2009 3D one, um, yeah. it just had something. I, mean, I think because the swing mechanic was so skill based, as opposed to. We've talked about this before recently, but like, compare that to like Spider Man, Spider Man 2, which was this open world game where you could swing all over everything and it was very empowering. Uh, that was not. Th that was a fun mechanic. It was not a skill-based mechanic. It was a very empowering and easy mechanic, um, by design, I think. But the Bionic Commando swing mecha mechanic is quite limited, and you feel like this heavy, clunky thing. But if you master that arm, mm. uh, the reward and the uh, the the uh, well, the, the thing that makes it feel good and empowering is that you've mastered an actual skill. Right. Right. And that's yeah. kind of the uh, like. It core philosophy to just about every game we put out. So how does this bring about bring us back to Street Fighter and Monster Hunter? Well, so Monster, I mean, it's the same way, you know, like you're, both these games, ultimately, th there's no arbitrary sense of progression. You progress in Monster Hunter because you literally get better at hunting. That's the yeah. only real way. Is like, And the whole concept of Hunter rank, there's no experience points in this game. Yeah, like you don't, you don't you get better. You rank up by beating a thing that you couldn't have beaten before. Right. Um, it, it's mostly a time indicator. I mean, it, it tells you how many times I and mean, how many quests you completed, Yeah. sort of, in, in a well general yeah, sense. Like, Valnar here is se uh, hun Hunter rank 726. Mm -hmm. I can see on my gamepad. And Cerberus is 403. Mm -hmm. uh, Shawnee is 111. I'm 134. But, like, between the four of us, like, it's... Is it a... Is is that a big difference? Like from from 111 to 726, like the the lowest and the, and the highest in the group here. Um, and I'd say like, you know, maybe it could be. But what if the person at 7 4, 726? I'm not saying that this is the case, but it could it could happen one day mm -hmm. that a person got to hunter rank 900 mm -hmm. by just being carried by their friends yeah, or by just hunting the same uh, die Morales. It, you know, they're really good at hunting die Morales. <laughs> But put them against the Rathalos and they get totally chewed up, yeah. you know? <laughs> so well, it's very it, it's not something that guarantees you victory. Hunter rank doesn't guarantee you victory. True. And I guess the Hunter rank thing does change after, what is it, after 7? To uh, an experience-based... Uh, uh, yeah. C but it's like, for those first 7 ranks, all your Hunter rank means, it's not like when you rank up, you get stronger. All yeah. it means is you have access to more challenges. Like, well, exactly. So it... The whole concept of ranking up for that part of the game just means that you as a player have gotten better and are deserving of harder stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then it just become it just kind of denotes how much you've played the game. Right. And I think Street Fighter now has a thing with that, uh, with the battle points, right? Like yeah, you yeah. Online. It's like, it's comparable to that. Um, but but Street Fighter online. too, you know, like Street Fighter doesn't even have, uh, I mean, traditionally, like there is the battle point thing, but... Up until yeah. that, it, it didn't even have anything like a level system. The whole game is just a, a challenge of skill. And that difficulty is determined completely by the players, you know? Yeah. Which is kind of the case here, you know? You can play any quest that you have access to, you know? And uh, the quest is as hard as the skill 
Whoops. level of the uh, of the people playing. Yep. All right, Greg, I got to focus a little bit if you want to keep talking oh, yeah. about free. Uh, someone uh, mentioned that they heard the podcast from two years ago where we talked about this stuff. Uh, on that note, if you haven't heard already, the podcast is back after oh, a two-year yeah. hiatus. So uh, look for another episode the end of this week. It's going to be bi-weekly. Oh, and, nice. Uh, and uh, rad. We have a new theme song I'm very excited to show off. Ooh, nice. Provided by, I'm just going to tell you, provided by the one and only Mega Ran. Nice. Who, uh, Whoops. Raps I about guess. Mega Man, among, among other subjects. And in the Capcom Unity uh, podcast intro, he raps about the, me- the Capcom Unity podcast. About the intro. podcast. Yep. Um, let's see. People saying stuff. Uh, you might notice this quest is a little foggy right now. Um, it's a strategy for hunting two monster quests uh, like this where we set up a, uh, we, we do a smoke bomb, keeps the other one right there, they, they can't see us while we finish this one off. So, um, doesn't work 100% of the time, but right now it is working. Oh, what are we fighting right now, a yellow lummox? Uh, that's not the proper name. It's gonna be a nickname? No. Officially sanctioned nickname. I'm gonna come sorry, up with a better guys, one. I'm gonna put the whole game on. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that if you want. So they can pick your nose. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So uh, I got my buddy into um, this game Ooh. recently. Uh, my buddy Andy. Nice. And uh, I went over to his place yesterday, and he was like, "Hey man, let's hunt. You can show me how to use some of these weapons." Because he's still super early in the game. Uh, but I didn't have my my game on me, so. Oh. But he has both the 3DS version and the Wii U version. Oh, nice! So we were doing, we were taking advantage of the local play option. Um, but ah, yes. that I, meant I, I was playing from a completely new file. Oh wow! None and, of your gear. And he was like dragging me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, but like, yeah, like I, I, well, it wasn't a naked run, but I had like the starting armor and the starting weapons, and wow, we were fighting okay. that that first. Uh, Rathian quest that you get in the multiplayer. It's probably a good experience yeah. for him, you know, like le- the, 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 the quest is would lean more his yeah. shoulders. Well, and uh, we actually didn't beat the Rathian. I, I, I carded all three times. <laughs> I'm a little ashamed, but I had some good moments. Um, That's what matters, right? I was also using a lance, not a gun lance. I'm not good mm. lance. I had some great counters. But then we did a Royal Ludroth, and that was fun. It's, it's fun to go back to a time where Royal Ludroths could be hard. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. Oh, I think the Rathalos saw us, because, oh no. It just decided to throw a fireball for no good reason. Whoops. You stay right there. Hold on, guys. The proper spelling of Yellow Lummox, if you please. <laughs> okay. I think. I'm gonna feel like an idiot if that's wrong. Uh, no, I had it right. <laughs> <laughs> Never doubt yourself, Greg. You're a good guy. Good guys always Thanks, win. Man. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's not what I've been hearing. That's not, what my, that's not what my mom's been telling me. <laughs> Is your mom a super villain? No! Uh, no, she's great. Then she should tell you that the good guys always win. Oh. Wow. wow. Okay. Super dead. Hey, 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 give me that. Oh. All right, fine, whatever. Nice. Good job. Good job, everyone. This is probably going to be the easiest Moonlight Trist. Ooh, Rathy Ruby. I'm doing a happy dance. Uh, probably the easiest small line twist I've ever done. Why are we with the smoke bombs again? Those tufts of Rathian hair are really gross. They're not. <laughs> what do I swap for this? Disturbs. Can we tell you anything new about MH4U? Um, uh, we can only tell you news that is out. 
Um, what's the latest news on that? Though? What's the latest thing we should? Why showed? do I have a? Uh, hmm. Latest news on Monster Four Ultimate. Let's it's see. It's a uh, lot like Street Fighter. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Ultra. <laughs> ah, gosh, we had it right. Foiled again. Uh, do you know that there is a Shark Week special last week? Yeah. How real sharks inspired the design of the Zamtrios. There you go. That that was that was crafted with love. That post was was great. I haven't read this one yet, actually. Well, no, it has a ton of cool concept art. Again, relating back to the book that we're about to give away, you know, the the, the art in the book is very much like that, you know, full of little notes. Uh, probably won't include pictures of real animals because those pictures I had to get from uh, somewhere else. To be fair, I used the wiki comments, so they're all free to use. Dude. And, uh, oops, 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 oops. You should have said Shark Week with a Q, as someone pointed out here. Damn. Uh, no, because that that way the Where'd hashtag you? wouldn't have worked. Yeah, we would have been true. lost. That's true. So I'm sorry. There should I have been some kind of reference there. Did you even like bring up Shark Wiz? No, not not really. Because they 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 are real sharks. I wanted to talk solely about the Zamtrios. Also, seeing that uh, oh, that's a nice bomb right there. Away, but the sharks really and truly are sharks. I know, but they're not in 4 Ultimate. Come on, man. Huh. <laughs> 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 so that's the news you wanted. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's no underwater. Took a little work, Ultimate. but I got some news for you. <laughs> you can make the shark lands the last time I checked, though. Oh, nice. I've never seen or used that. If you want to get into Lansing, you got to get that Shark Lance. I will say the Zamtrios is a super fun monster. It's just like full of foibles. I'd love to see him in a non-Monster Hunter context, you know, like Zamtrios, uh, you know, like in the office. Like Zamtrios buys a sandwich. <laughs> Why? Like, can we do like a mini-series? Does someone want to spearhead that webcomic? Oh, you come down. All right. A uh, webcomic about the Zamtrios. <laughs> like, in everyday situations. Well, I would argue for monsters in everyday situations. But yeah, that could just be one episode. Corbeco buys a coffee, and he can't grab it because his claws on his wings are actually flints. Yeah. Or he accidentally sets his friend on fire. By like high fiving. <laughs> I guess you'd have to high five a friend who also had like rock hands. Yeah. Like uh, some kind of oh, like the uh, Mulligan. What's the guy's name? Rakidios. Uh, no, no, no. Gravimos. Gravimos. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh boy. All right, I, I got to where I wanted. I wanted. Oh boy! No, Gravios, no, not, not exactly high five what I wanted. Catastrophic results. Ooh, thank you guys. Great. All right, I just wanted that blue hand right here. Man, I never knew how much I I liked this armor until I had it. I guess that's how things work, right? You never know yeah. how much you like something until you try it. Or until, until it's gone, it. usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not until you have it. <laughs> no, I mean, you can't know for sure if you don't have it, right? That's true. Case point, though. Oh, I, mean, I need to focus on substituting the right items. Man, people are coming up with great ideas. For, for this, what? For this for hypothetical webcomic. All right, now we Purple Ludroth invests heavily in stocks to ensure his future for him and his wonderful family. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like that one because it has nothing to do with being a Purple Ludroth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, I wish I wish we had it uh, handy. There's a link there. Feature I did a while ago. Monster Mo Monster Hunter Monsters with Suits. And oh, yeah. And, oh, it's my favorite. It was my favorite thing. Here we go. We also did a uh, monster hunters, monsters with a uh, googly eyes. Googly eyes, but I mean, I think that the suit one is related. 
you see there like gangster T-Rex and oh, man. Mexican dancer. I mean, not a Spanish dancer. The 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 penis. sax. Wait, what do you call it? the sax? Ki brackies. The yeah. Bracky sax. I feel like we had a hilarious nickname for it. Uh, I don't know. Bracky sax. What else? Is there another one? <laughs> There's a couple of one the user submitted. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, we're watching. <laughs> uh, Alright. Here you go. Uh, how about you guys pick another number from 1 to 12? 1 to 12. Ooh. First number you see, Greg, please let me know. Ozaki X2 wants you to notice him or her. Hi. Ozaki X2. Or is it Oza Kicks? Alright, seven, number seven. Alright, seven is the purple. Got it. Ooh, gourmet voucher. Now which weapon should I use? Uh we're still doing a gold and silvers? Golds and silvers? I'll do a hammer this time. All right, here's monsters with googly eyes. Oh boy, shouldn't be missed. Nope. This was a this was an Antista invention, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, he saw that. <laughs> he saw that they were doing magic cards uh, oh, with, yeah. with googly eyes, and I I referenced that there, so uh, properly credited. And we did a bunch, and then asked you guys to do a bunch too. It's How fun. did you make these? You photoshopped. Uh, so so here's what I did, right? So I took. I bought a bag of googly eyes, uh -huh. and I took photos, I, I put them on a piece of white paper, took mm -hmm. photos of them, and then photoshopped the paper out. Uh, prob there's probably an easy way to do it. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to say that was done gracefully, but whatever. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so we did that, and, and put them all... Um, I put them all on the site, but then like photoshopped them into the fake pictures that I had. Uh, that's why they have the real look, you know. Uh, and then like the, the Zenogre one was actually in the Zenogre there, so it wasn't in, the, in it was right. in that statue. Right, right. I didn't photoshop it later. I like the Narga. <laughs> yeah, that was actually done uh, placed on top of the cover of the game. I didn't photoshop that. Right. So. Those are the ones that I think work the best, uh, in my opinion. Are the ones that we we actually placed on a physical item. But uh, it would have been hard to call out people, <coughs> you know, and make a call to action for people to actually do that because they would only be, you know, a handful You'd of. You'd have to have them buy googly eyes. Well, not only that. I mean, that that wasn't. I don't. I don't think that would be the hardest part because the bag of googly eyes is like two bucks. But uh, I think the hardest part would have been to get the pictures. So unless everybody had um, monster illustrations, for example, which is today's giveaway um, later today. Actually, tell me when it's uh, 3.45, Greg. I will. Wait, why? It's a secret. Okay. Has to do with the giveaway. Okay. I might be giving... Oh, look at the shark lance there, Greg. Uh, uh, oh, my goodness. That is... The shield is like a do not... S like no swimming I side. have seen that. Come to think of it. Yeah. There's another feature I did with Monster Hunter uh, weapons that look like actual things, or it's something like that. <laughs> so I think the Shark Lance is included there. It has GIFs, but not. It was before I knew how to make them, so they're probably huge files. Do not go there unless you have plenty of internet to use. Your armor's so pretty. I know it's purple now. There you go. All right, there's some prancing. Oh man, they got the same thing. That's, that's well done. Well done. Okay. Ah, we're gonna wreck these things now. What? Oh, D Yoshi, you're you're here. You wanted to join the. You're late. <laughs> Had to give up the room. Man. Beautiful. 
beautiful night sky. Yeah. Beautiful fog. Smoke bombs. Just think, each one of those stars. Uh, it's a star. What? It makes you think. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> Please stop. We should get into hammer a little more. I don't think I've touched one since, uh, Try. Really? Yeah. Hammer's really good. You know some yeah. people some people in the office are exclusive hammer. Yeah, I know. I hate like the range always uh, scares me off. You have to get like because it's like super short range and you wanna be right in their face, which is like always the most dangerous area to be. It just uh, yeah. I respect like hammer players. But if you're deliberate like this, you don't you don't always it's not always a problem. Yeah. I just like I was so much more attracted to the hunting horn, you know? It's got longer range, it still does impact damage, and it has all sorts of crazy Whoops. buffs. Yeah. I'm not going to say one is better, but it's kind of like Street Fighter, you know? Like, you have Zangief, but you also have Hugo, and you have Guile, but you also have DJ. Probably a bad example. But you have things that on the surface look, sim look the same or similar, uh, but are very different in how you play them, you know? Have you ever yeah. thought about this, Craig? Like, how Monster Hunter is similar to Street Fighter? Uh, no. Tell me more. <laughs> if possible, in blog form. Alright, there's a link there. I'm gonna copy and paste in the chat so you know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Alright, actually I'm busy, so why don't you do <laughs> I just posted the googly-eyed thing again by request. Oh, okay. Uh, which I had posted a bit earlier. And here's my People Street Fighter People can't use link. Google to find a googly-eyed thing? What's ah. going on? Oh man, so I was like talking to my girlfriend the other day and uh, we were talking about some friends of hers uh. and it was like a married couple and I was like, does he work for Google? And she's like, I doubt it. I don't think they'd be living in a duplex if they worked for Google. And I'd be like, yeah, they'd be living in a Googleplex, <laughs> which is a number. Oh, is it? It's okay. A, it's a one with a Google zeros after it. Ah. You know, Google's also a number. Right. It's a one with a hundred zeros after it. That makes sense, Greg. This is highbrow stuff right uh, here, guys. It most definitely is. That hit the ring. Whoops. Uh, will King Yuri attend community events this week? What's going on this week? Yeah, what's going on with calling me King Yuri? I, mean, I never. I don't remember being crowned. It's true. Uh, and what community events this week? Yeah. Uh, I know. What is it? Well, there's PAX coming up in. Uh, Are we going to PAX break? Oh, well, I'm not. Uh, you're not. Are you? I think so. I like PAX very much, but I can't go. Uh, I have 
You have family, therefore you cannot go to PAX. Yeah. Just by having family, you cannot go to PAX. Yeah, I thought there would be more people who fit that description. <laughs> <laughs> of having family, therefore not going to PAX. Okay, I got it. I get it, I get it. I don't think that shark's ah. uh, doing so hot. Well, you're not seeing what's going under the hood, man. All that water damage? Rapian hates it. There you go, right. dead. Oh man, you kill them in midair? Yep, yeah, they just fall and that flop. That was awesome. Like how a dead you, wait, how did you even do that? I didn't do it, somebody else did. How did somebody else do it? They were underneath it with the high striking vertical attack, possibly the switch axe over there. That was or badass. Or Cerberus with the uh, with sword and shield, maybe, uh, maybe they had a... Moment of show. No, maybe they had a... A bomb exploded. Vertical hitbox too. Hitboxes. Monster Hunter. Street Fighter. Yes. Alright, let's do this. Now Silver Rathalos. Does he look small? Because I want the small one. Did anybody uh, end up responding oh. to the community event? Oh, wow. oh, they blocked it with human shield over there. Oh, cool. see with the shark. Man, that is high level crap. Oh. Ah. This is amazing. <laughs> you guys are skilled. <laughs> yes, that was amazing. Oops. Wrong direction. Oh, that's pretty bad. be there for that attack. Uh -huh. He thinks he's going somewhere. Can't seem to get a KO on this guy. Nice. Go for it. Nice. Ah. Get that wing now. No! Oh. 
Oh, I got it. Oh. I got a hit. I got a hit. Good. Oh, no. Nope. Too close. Sorry, sorry. That's the thing you can do too. Chainsaw. Sort of. Kind of. Ah! Oh, sorry. So, in uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, right? There's this thing, uh, there's this type of attack, which is a jumping attack. So, uh,. You can jump from ledges and hit the monster, and then that gives you a chance of entering this animation sequence where you ride the monster's back and you have to stab him in the back. And uh, that was introduced in Monster Hunter 4, in 4G, which 4 Ultimate is the one they were getting. Uh, there's this thing that when your teammates launch you, like I just did there with the hammer, that person can then um, do a jumping attack from that so it's pretty cool yes it is my vouch for this it's like they took one of the most annoying things about the game and turned it into one of the most useful things you know yeah aha dead whoops wrong button Good quest. Yeah. Man, it looks like the shark's eating him a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> so it's 3.40. Okay, give me another five minutes. Uh, Red Stash wants more Brachidios hunting. Brachidios? I wouldn't say it needs more. Come on. He's Huge. the worst. With his missile fists. It's <laughs> 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 great. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I should have put this guy on the Shark Week. Next year we'll do Shark Week, Shark vs. Shark, and it's a quest of hunting his amphibians with that. Weapon. Ooh, a Rathian mantle. Are we too late for people to come join us in the hunt? Uh, I can recycle the room. Worth a shot? Yeah, was well, fine. All so right, guys. Join us. What's that room again? I am. Uh, it's it's MH Mondays. Uh, I'm recycling. No password this time though, so be ready. All right. Uh, thanks for the hunting, everyone. Recycling room. Bye. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay, return to lobby. Oh. oh look at the Kayamba over there. Uh, room is a help, B, help D lobby 10 and name is MH Mondays. There you go. We're live with another room. So that way people can come in and join us. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the people that wanted to join will be able to join. Milk says hi. There you go. Hello. All right, let me uh, let me just change. Uh, no, we have Redman, Redman, and Dude Man. Okay.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gotta be a red stash. Yes, it is. Hi. Same armor. First time in mission. Yeah, so who's who's dude man? Hi. You in the chat? Oh. Man. So I see D. Yoshi, you wanted to, uh, he wanted to, he's the one who wanted to join earlier. And he says, no way, my Wii U just froze. <laughs> oh. oh, wait. Unfortunate. Uh, next time then? Seems like it was fate. Alright, let's do that Bracky, whoever wants to do that Bracky. Alright, there was prancing over there, but I am not Ooh. partaking. Guys, number one to th one through twelve. Monster Hunter Dude Man is says I'm Dude Man. Got it. Makes sense. And M Bass Man is Milk. What's the number there, Greg? Two, two, number two, easy. It's orange pigment. Very nice. Ah, cool. Uh, Bracky, weak to water. Let's see. We don't have to do water, though. We can do something like... Upgrade this? I think I can upgrade this. Hang on. I must be able to. <gasps> yes! Awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Buraki Dios. We can even, even do a sticky situation if we want to. And. Three forty five. Oh, three forty five. Mm -hmm. Time for the giveaway. Oh yeah. Alright, are we ready for this? Greg, right. how how are we how are we handling this? First first person we see the answer there or you wanna type in the question or you want me to say the answer uh, to the question? I will What's type the qu well I will type the question. You can I'll, I'll mute us and you can tell me what the question is. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay. We're gonna. I'm gonna put that question, the giveaway question, in the chat. The first answer that we see in the chat, get it. We'll uh, get the art book. Please be aware, yeah. as always, that depending on, uh, due to the different connection speeds, the order that messages appear may be different from computer to computer. So we're just going off our screen. Think of it as a slight ele element of randomness. Yeah, I'm going to put that okay. question in. And in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, though. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Just do. Mm. 
We'll be lenient-ish on the exact spelling. Ah! ah. All right, Dot we got Chuck is Dot our Chuck. winner. Yes. The answer, so the question was, in 3 Ultimate, the Gambit Jewel gives skill points toward what skill? The answer is Punish Draw or Punishing Draw. That That's how we were. And we, we got a compliment on the question. Compliment? Like, a what a beautiful question. question it was? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not Critical Draw, but Punish Draw. Yes. Uh, congrats. I'm writing you a PM now. And we'll, we'll need you to respond to the PM with your name and mailing address. And congratulations for winning the 400-page awesome from page 1 to page 400 art book, uh, Monster Hunter Illustration 2, brought you by Udon Entertainment. For those of you that didn't win, I might uh, you know refer you to places to buy it, such uh -huh. as Amazon. I think Barnes & Noble might carry it, too. Uh, it's only about 40 bucks, depending, you know, well, on Well, you know what? Area. On that note, so last week, uh, so you, <laughs> every week I do a feature on the blog, and it's a very open-ended thing. Sometimes it's a... I linked to it on my blog today, so... You did? Yes. The Udon ah, one? Yep. The Udon one? It's the very last link. Uh, but yeah, go on. You were saying. <laughs> uh, blah... Every yeah, week. so like two weeks ago, my feature was, here is... Here is every single this one here. Yep. Okay. Every single Udon art book that is, or not even just art books, every single Udon book that you can buy that is related to Capcom, and there's a lot, and there's a lot of great ones. Let's check that out. No, um, very scandalous Morgan art. Abounds. Alright, took care of the main issue here. Rogue Bullfangos. Uh. <laughs> You like that? So I beat fire with fire over here. What kind of gun lance you rocking? Gold Raffian gun lance. Nice. I like that you switch up weapons this much. <laughs> uh, after a while, it's not very, it's not that, you know, it's not that hard. Yeah, as, yeah. as uh, the same way that you can see Peter switch Street Fighter characters all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I was slimed. That was going to detonate when he... You're still slimed. Oh, it's going to wear off. There you go. After two rolls, I figure, like, we give it a second and it goes off on its own. <coughs> uh, ooh, tail's off. Speaking of being off. And there's a shiny. Mm. Someone said Greg a man with no follow-up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I was going through a... <laughs> so, you know, you did that Street Fighter... Uh